So this is actually a personal relationship for someone who has sent me questions concerning a situation in their life. However, a lot of times some of these issues and problems and questions that come up are very universal. So if you watch this, even though these aren't your uh, specific questions and this reading isn't specifically for you, you may find something that connects with you on a variety of levels. So, to the individual who sent me the email, I have your questions, um, your points of concern jotted down here. And um, I'm going to pull, let's see, about three cards for each one and see where that leaves us. Um, first of all, this is for, uh, for uh, other viewers watching this, this is for a couple who has already separated. So we're going to find out what your current energy is. What is your current energy right now? First set of cards. Okay. Well, the current energy here with the Six of Cups reversed is that this is something that's come up in the past over and over and over again. This is something you've you dealt with uh, before this type of energy or this situation. Um, it might be getting old, repetitive, you're tired of it. Um, a lot of that's, that's what the energy feels like. It's like, not again, I'm feeling from this card. Not again, can't do this again. Um, you're just very, just feels tired. Okay, the Emperor. Male energy, of course. Let me, let me look at this card a little more and see what it has to say for us. Um, uh, there's a lot of male energy in here that has a severing and cutting of, um, of emotions. Um, someone who is able to set themselves apart emotionally from what they're doing to how it affects their partner or their life in general. They compartmentalize. If they're doing something they're not supposed to be doing, they can compartmentalize it and they honestly believe that it won't touch other areas of their life. But that's not, that's not true. Um, there's there's also the feeling from this card of someone who has climbed up out of a difficult situation, um, difficult set of circumstances. Somebody who's climbed up out of some place in life, and and um, the feeling, the energy I'm getting is that they're they're like affluent now. They're they built something up from nothing. Whether this is um, your relationship, which which was, um, whether this is a business, um, whether this is just the state of their finances or their education, they they built something up from the ground up. Maybe that's why they can compartmentalize it and say, mm, um, "This is all okay. This is really good here, and I like what I have and I built here," but but their behavior and they can't justify specific behavior with with that. Well, at least they wouldn't be able to with me. Um, they, they can't say, oh, it's okay to do this over here if nothing touches what I built here. So we can keep these separate. But the problem is that you can't. <laughs> you can't keep these separate. Um, the energy right now is someone is trying very, very hard. Six of Pentacles, I love her, and, and the scales and the butterflies. Someone is trying very, very hard to even things out, um, to straighten things out. And I think it, it just has a feeling like both parties. Both parties are trying really hard to level the scales, to make things even, to make things work. 
Um, I, I believe that both of you would like to hang on to what you have. Both of you would like to hang on to what you have. So let's see where it's going to go and work from there. That's a, that's a very positive thing. That's a really good start in a positive direction. Okay, got to check my notes again. What did you... Uh, well, as I, as I read your letter, you know what? We're, we're going to pull three cards for the cause of the split. Because a lot of times, a lot of times it's not quite as clear as you think, or someone is in denial, or someone don't doesn't have all the facts, or you know, if there's just a mix up in the energy. So let's just draw three cards for the cause of this split. What was the problem here? Next set of cards. Oh, well, Ten of Swords, uh, someone was doing something behind someone's back, whether, you know, whatever they were doing, whether it was business or relationship related, there's a secrecy going on. Whatever's being done without your knowledge was something that is obviously detrimental to you or the relationship, your well-being. Whatever it is, this this isn't a good card. And I want to look at this card to see if it's going to tell me anything else as well. Um, whatever whatever happened, there's the feeling that it it's either what happened is very fleeting, or it hadn't been happening very long until you became aware of it. That's just okay. Point of point for that for that card. Um, um, whatever happens in your life too, and, and when you become once you become aware of something, you can never not unknow it. And so this probably has led to arguments, to um, harsh words, to um, or also it can lead to a lot of mental anguish if you have kept to yourself um, something that came to light for you and you're aware of something going on behind your back and you don't have a chance to speak about it or you're not sure about speaking about it or um, you you know it's happening and you can't believe it or you know it's happening but you want more proof whatever it is there's um, this card just feels to me like a lot of uh, mental confusion, mental pain, and anguish. It also feels like harsh words. The Knight of Swords is just, um, there's no words minced here, so there may have been several discussions or disagreements or arguments. Oh, it is definitely relationship related. Two of Cups. This definitely, um, um, whatever. whatever this was that that was going on behind your back or whatever it was that you had suddenly become aware of it's as though it um, it's something that's going to be extraordinarily disruptive and painful for a couple and to me this always um this points to like third party situations a possibility Also, I'm also hearing with this card, um, someone is contemplating leaving uh, a relationship, leaving the relationship. So is it the third party relationship that they are prepared to leave? It, it feels as though it is that it's not the significant um, main relationship that it is. I hate, I don't know what words to use, like a lesser relationship. It, it's a third party situation. And um, they've either left it or they are thinking of leaving it. Um, it's like, let the ship, let the ship slip into the night and um, let's not look at it anymore. Let it disappear into the darkness. Um... 
from both sides, I have this very transitory feeling like this all happened very quickly or very unexpectedly or it came to light in a very fast uh, um, way. Something is very transitory and fragile here, if that makes sense. Okay, let us move on from this. Boy, aren't relationships fun? Um, okay. Um, I'm sure that you're pretty confused right now, and and we're going to draw three cards for your true feelings. Um, and I know that you should feel pretty obvious about how you feel, but a lot of times there's things that are not so obvious, that are below the surface, or there's feelings we have we don't even admit to ourselves. So let's draw three cards for your true feelings. So how are you actually looking at and handling all of this right now? Okay, next set. Well, the moon is all about deception. You feel as though you have been lied to or someone's lying to you. You don't have the full story. Um, there's a sense of betrayal. There's a, a dark shadow cast upon you. It's like when something like this is going on in your life, um, everything else is shadowed by this. Everything else is affected. Um, if you work, um, it's difficult for you to work. If you have children, you're taking care of them, but in the back of your mind, all of this stuff is going on in the back of your mind. And um, if you feel that you have been lied to, more than likely, you're, our, our instincts are usually right. And whether an individual has revealed a lie to you and admitted it or not, um, when you look at someone and you talk to them, if uh, you've been together for a very, very long time, you know when they're lying, even if they don't admit it, which makes some of the conversations you might have really stupid. <laughs> There is there is nothing more stupid and frustrating than talking to someone who has lied and you know they're lying and they know they're lying but they want to admit they're lying. So, so a lot of your true feelings right now are just based around a feeling of deception and betrayal. Your current feelings, actually, Four of Swords, actually you're ready for a break from this. So the idea that you are separated is a good thing because. Um, if you remain physically under the same roof, all this energy from both parties is kind of ricocheting around in there like a like a bullet going off inside a tin can. And um, so so the timeout is a positive thing, and you are happy about it. And I want to see what else this card can tell me. Uh, it's also feeling like um, a sense of, of, of peace at being alone right now, a sense of clarity, an opportunity for deeper thinking and reflection and consideration. Um, also, the feeling that um, within this time out and having your own space, it's a, it's a feeling of being able to put up boundaries to protect yourself and to kind of watch your own back and to um, find a place of leverage. <laughs> I don't know how that came up, but find a place of leverage and also uh, to find a, um, some sort of sense of peace. You just need a break from it. Your true feelings, you have totally lost control. The Queen of Wands, right now your true feelings are that you're not really in control of anything, of everything. And, and you're not. You're not because this doesn't just involve one person. This involves three people. I'm just pretty sure here this, this is a third party thing. So this involves more than one person. And you have no control over someone else's thoughts and decisions and feelings and actions. So right now you are you are absolutely accurate in in your feeling of not being in control. Um, you are also also coming with this card um, the knowledge that you are not responsible for someone else's actions and decisions. 
and um, how they handle a situation, their feelings, that they have to be responsible for that themselves and the decisions they make and the actions they take um, will reflect upon them. It has to be their choice. Uh, that's why we can't force people to be in a relationship if um, they don't want to be in a relationship, if they're not um, comfortable or happy where they're at. No matter how painful that may be for us, they're, um, you know, sometimes this just happens and everything has to be considered. Both, both sides have to be considered. The feelings. Oh, that sounds so harsh, but... Okay, let's let's leave this one right here and go on to the next one. Let me check my notes again. Let me see. Oh, you want a clearer look at their intentions, which says to me um, either you talked about about which way everyone's going to go, and you're not sure they're being honest with you, or you have not, and you you really aren't fully clear about what their intentions are. So let's just clear that up. Okay, next set. Let's take a peek. Their intentions. Oh. Okay. They would like stability, but in the situation as it stands now, they're not going to they're not going to have stability until they make a choice and until they get off the fence, until they until they have clear in their mind what they want and which direction they want to go. So their intentions are to find stability and how they're going to do that may or may not be for your benefit. Well, their intentions, they're madly, passionately, crazy in love. Um, um, what, I'm, what I'm feeling from this is like um, that first energy when a couple comes together and no one's making much sense and everyone is giddy, no one is thinking clearly, actions are being taken that are maybe foolhardy, they may be rash and and this this stable person over here, person looking for stability, they're not thinking clearly right now. This this type of energy is just so overwhelming and crazy and wild and impetuous and deep and exciting and alluring and tempting that this person is just their intentions. They're not thinking clearly. And that that leaves their intentions like a little bit up in the air too. Hmm, doesn't it? Three of Wands, definitely. Third party situation. Someone, someone right now, their intentions, they don't know what they want to do right now. This is somebody sitting between, um, sitting between two individuals. They're, they're caught between two of something and they can't come to a decision. It's like, um, it's like a waiting period. It's like a, a period of inactivity and inaction. Everything's just kind of, the feeling I get, everything's just kind of going along as is with um, no changes or definite goals or positions or no, no definite end in sight. No definite end in sight. It's just kind of, it's just kind of rolling around because they can't decide. They don't know what they want to do.